Pizzarium is famed for their modern pizza al taglio, or pizza by the slice, made with a slow fermented dough that's similar to focaccia and topped with creative ingredients like stewed artichokes, burrata and zucchini or anchovies and fresh mozzarella. It's owned by Gabriella Bonci, who's now opened other spots in Rome and even over in Chicago. Maurizio Di Franco. I am a food guide here in uh, in Rome. We're visiting uh, one of my local haunts, a uh, pizzeria called Pizzarium by Gabriele Bonci. Gabriele was not the inventor of the Stella Pizza, but he definitely perfected it. He's basically taken a more traditional style of a uh, pizza by the slice and modernized it by using higher quality toppings, but also uh, a slow cold fermentation, you know, using a, um, a mother dough that he's been cultivating for years and years. Every time you see pizza in Rome, especially the Roman pizza by the slice or pizza al taglio as we call it, um, it is a very thin, crispy uh, crust uh, with very simple toppings. Bonchi is holding on to that tradition using still that very crispy bottom, um, but using that mother dough, using that sourdough, he gets that nice inside, uh, a little bit softer and a little bit taller. In addition to that, he uses very high in quality ingredients and really interesting flavor combinations. So, um, you know, always sourcing seasonal ingredients. So it's, pizzas are changing all the time, depending on the time of year. And, um, and they're always cycling through. So every few hours you can come and find a, a new pizza out. It is uh, the original street food of Rome, right. where you can pop into a bakery, buy a thin slice of it, and it's always done by weight. So depending on how hungry you are, you can get, you know, uh, as much as you want to eat, they'll weigh it and that's the price you pay. So yeah, typically it is a more on the go sort of street food. You'll see it more and more in cities around the world, um, this style of, of pizza by the slice. I think part of it is it is something new. You know, everyone is so used to the Neapolitan style, uh, you know, the pizzeria where you sit down, you order your whole pie uh, to yourself. Whereas this is a little bit more fun, a little different. This is true for any type of food you're talking about in Rome, it's never terribly complicated, um, but it's all about the quality of the few ingredients that you're using. In fact, the best pizzas I think that Bonchi does are the simpler ones. Um, he always has the pizza rossa, which is to say the red pizza with just a little tomato, olive oil, and salt, and pizza with potato and mozzarella, which is very traditionally Roman as well. Um, as long as you're using good quality ingredients, it doesn't have to be um, you know, a, a bunch of toppings thrown together. I have to say Bonchi's pizza with, uh, with potato and mozzarella is to die for. It's something special about it. I'm a, I'm a traditionalist at heart, I guess, but it works. Mm -hmm.